a long lesson, very long lesson. I can't teach it now. So some of us, our families have a strong impact on us. Very, very strong. I learned a big lesson there. A very big lesson. Kile mungu anipatia tu practical kia kariye hii. Buona sifiyo. So I will not teach it today. <coughs> Have mercy on me. Because I am a parent. I care for the weakest. Buona sifiyo. Amen. You know, some of you can sit up to six in the evening listening, but some need some bodily lunch. <laughs> Buona as if you um, At the same time, as a, as a parent, I want to to encourage and tell you, we have had a lot of lessons today, so many teachings today. I want to say I'm coming from a denomination which was very strict. I would say they were extremists to some extent. Extremists to some extent. To some extent. And it is very dangerous when a Christian becomes an extremist. It becomes worse than our brothers in the other faith. One as if you will. Because when you become an extremist, Ah, even the true knowledge you will deny. Even what is not seen, you will call it sin. And you will cause people to repent of the sins they never committed. I remember being made to repent of sins I never committed. And God was so annoyed in heaven. He was so annoyed with me. Why did you? That's when I realized it is dangerous to repent sins you have not committed. But there are sins we committed through our parents. Well, as if you And I see this on Naunga Makira Mara because they hurt us even today. They haunt us. Like what has been preached here. Our parents were to ingiza kwa mam ambayo hatu kujua to go and to what do and it is hurting us now we didn't know they were connecting us to the other one we never knew it's now we are knowing and then we have a lot of work to do a very difficult exercise to carry out because we were connected to the one we don't belong to without our knowledge that's why we are being told now I want to say this are you listening to me? Yes. Have you ever met me? Miti shamba, haba. Miti shamba. Miti shamba. Me me know it to me. What has it feel? Now I want you to understand. Miti shamba. Simba. Herbal medicine is not sin. Listen to me carefully. See how you misinterpret. Herbal medicine is not. Sin, using herbal medicine is not sin, but it depends to who is giving you. My brother and my wife were talking here. There are things that have come to me. And uh, I don't know if you can say it all. I'm telling you, I'm coming from a background where it, the, the, their faith was very strict. They were Pentecostal and uh, personally, as a human being, uh, the medicine was preached against. Herbal medicine was preached against. Na ilikuwa dhambi kutumia herbal medicine. Whether you picked it yourself or someone picked it for you, it was sin. Na manabi walikuwa naona ulitumia mdawa ya kini. Walikuwa naona. Bwana asifiwe. Mwai kana manabi kwe. 
Mimi mekaa na wengi sana. Bwana Edward atakwambia hapa <laughs> tumekaa katikati ya manabii. Anakuona mpaka katikati ya mfupa. Nakwambia <laughs> katikati ya mfupa wako kuna <laughs> hii. Akienda kupasuliwa inaonekana kweli kuna kitu hiyo katikati ya mfupa. Bwana asifiwe. Prophets are very good. <coughs> Some of you are going to be prophets. I can see you. And when you become a prophet, be very careful. Yeah? Right? Are you are you listening to me? Because you have to speak the mind of God. <laughs> the mind of God. <laughs> the mind of man. Are you are you getting me? When I do a muti dawa in to a queen, I have a to me a queen. Queen ni dawa ya kutibu malaria wakati malaria imekuwa hai, ina resist all other medicines the result to queen queen ni dawa ya kutibu malaria natengenezwa kitu gani natengenezwa kwa mti back of a tree na itwa si jona tree na pandwa pale kilicho so wana toa hiyo wana science wanajua vile wanafanya alafu wanaenda wanatengeneza queen dawa natoka kwa mti. Did you know that uh, my dawa mengi tunatumia hospitalini ilitoka inatoka kwa, kwa plants. Na ingine inatoka kwa rocks. Are you aware? Specific rocks. <coughs> Mzungu alipokuja Kenya alituambia hivi. Kutumia mitishamba inani. Walitumia missionary. Why did they do so? They were looking for a market for their goods. So how do they get a market? A market? They stop you using what you know. They bring you theirs, what they have made from what you use. That's what they did. Are you getting me right? Yes. There are some people when they pluck these herbs, they recite some prayers. They invoke some spirits. Then they bring you the herbs. In the real sense, they have connected you to an evil one. You know, I've never known this as old as I am. But this was revealed to me today. They invoke some prayers. I, <clears throat> when they invoke those prayers, they connect you to the spirit world. So they are picking the hearts under the influence of certain spirits. Are we together? Yes. So it depends who is giving you that message. That's why you should be very careful. That's why I like another writer, Yadika Kasema, if you have to use herbal medicine, plan it. That's it. I'm going to have planted players. When I see you, when I see a magic guitar, that's how it connects you now. So, I'm going to say, if you, because I don't know who is making the medicine for me, then I better stop taking the the herbal medicine because I don't know who is picking it for me. I don't know which ones is attacked. So, I better stop. You see, if I don't know, then let me stop using. What does it do? Is this how to make me as I'm out? What what will you pick for you? Now I do. And what words did they utter as they picked? I told you some time back here. Iri ni mungu ni kataza ni siende mashamban. Namimi ni kafuliza ni kafanya ni ni kaen. When I reached there. Wakamirushia zile automatic zao, za wachawi zile kwa macho. Macho karibu itopoke, my good friends. And there is a lady who offered to get medicine for me. Kadeta, kasi sana, wacha tu wacha. Na ni mutu najua vizuri. Kuyusi mutu wako connected ni bigoni. Wako connected kwa ulimwengu mwingine. 
Aenda nitafutie dawa. This cannot be. I refused Adam and Eve. Kaniambia macho itatoboka nikamwambia kama ni mapenzi ya Mungu itoboke. That's all. I'm not taking any arms. Not that I can't take arms. And then uh, I ask God, God, now do you want my eyes? Uh, do you want me to lose my eyes? God said no. <laughs> so what did I do? I prayed. I fasted. I prayed. And immediately I finished my fasting. My eyes were clear. I was losing it. I'm telling you, I was losing my eyesight because Giza was as in my phone. I was losing my eyesight. But after prayer, my eyesight was restored. I can see you very well, very clear. When as it you. So these things, you must be very careful. Be very careful. Because people use this heart to entangle some people to the underworld. Alafu nafungiwa huko. Nabii atakaposimama hapa akwambie wewe na kuona hivi na hivi utasema ah uh, nabii sema huko. Kwa nitumia mitishamba ni mbaya. Ah ah si mbaya. Lakini nani alikuletea? That is a question. Yule mtu alienda kuchuna hizo dawa. Kuna some prayer sali fine. Aka connect kwa that one. That's where it goes from. So be very careful as a child of God. Mulikuja hapa mpate knowledge, sio? Haya, ndio hiyo. Mpate kabisa wish maisha matakatifu. Maana Yesu anakuja. Bwana azivue. Wish maisha matakatifu maana Yesu anafanya nini? Anakuja very soon. Very soon is coming. You don't know if it is tomorrow or which day. Baleo nane nakusema kidogo Sikia moyo wangu na connect na wewe Ah bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Asifiwe sana Amen ile mnavyosikia mkiambiwa pengine nakusikia lakini ni jambo lipo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen Ah kulingana na dawa ile ya hapo ile medicine sio hiyo peke yake hata tembe hiyo natumia ni nzuri Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini kulingana na vile itakuwa imeletwa ama yule amekuletea kila kitu ni kizuri lakini kinahitaji ujuzi wa kutumia na na vile wanakipata bwana asifiwe sana nasema hivi kikiwa siku moja nilikojeka sana miaka mitatu miaka mitatu ugonjwa wa kukuraza chini andikiwa pale niliweka maanani ya kwamba sitafikia mahali nitaabudu nitachukua chochote kuzumia kinyume na Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Siku moja nikaenda mahali wanaita kiliki nikapewa dawa hiyo hapo nilipopewa nikakunywa baada ya kunywa kufika usiku swali likaja kwa namtukuza nani mara mekunywa mepodo na kutukuza nani sasa amekashindwa nimekunywa tu dawa kwa nini naulizwa swali kama hili unamtukuza nani haikuwa dawa ilikuwa mbaya lakini mwenye kunipatia nimeshiriki jambo fulani hapa siku ndio bwana yesu asifiwe ikafika wakati nitaja kwa baba yangu baba mzazi nikawa hiyo miaka bado nasukumana na shida hiyo akanenendolia kwanza akaja usiku ule usiku kafika akasikia hiyo nyumba ninakaa haifai tena 
Ni ya baba yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini ni kihisi nasikia yaani kuna kitu kinasunguka kwa nyumba na ninasikia hii nyumba si nyumba kuna kitu kimewekwa tofauti. Na ile kitu kinaitwa kushuhudia Mungu ama kukaa ndani ya huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na ninasikia kuna kitu kinanuka kile ningeenda na niguza na nitoe. Nikaanipiga ndiki nikaamka saa 8 saa usiku. Nikatembea nikatembea kwa ile nyumba mpaka nikakuta kitu kimefungwa na kitambaa. Na dawa zile mimi napewa tembe ziko hapo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yeye nikachukua hiyo kitu akiwa amelala na nikatoka na nikachoma hivi. Na kuanzia hapo nikamwambia hivi madawa sitawahi kunywa tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Baada ya kuamka alikuta mali yake hiyo ni mali yake si yako. Nimechoma nimeharibu kila kitu. Na nikampatia wole nikamwambia katika maisha yangu usikawahi kunipigia hata tena baka nikaandikiwa karatasi ni sign mimi sio mtoto wake na tena nimekataa maagizo yake nikamwambia leo akaandika na akaandika baada ya kuandika akaniletea akaniambia sign hapa na nikasign nikamwambia marafuku tazako na kila kitu bwana asante sana ndio madawa hii ya tunakunywa tu lakini mahali nilikuwa nimeshikalishwa nikiamsha ule usiku nikapelekwa pale nikaamka na nikatoa ile kitu lakini maisha mwangu ilikuwa natibiwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe bas katika hiyo maisha niliahidi kusema sitawahi mama akakuja mama yangu akaniambia sasa hii ugonjwa ulio nayo a uh, nimepata mtu akutibu usiku huu usiku uliofuata nikapelekwa mahali pale nikaambiwa naye pelekwa kwake mkanga nikaambia mama kile mimi nataka sasa kufanya ni hivi nilikuja hapa Nairobi hapa Nairobi nikitembea mimi wangu ukiwa mzima ukiwa bila hivyo lakini kwa sasa siku lipa wakati huo siku lipa gharama lakini inafika wakati mimi naona ni kama naenda naenda zangu na katika ile kuenda kwangu nahitaji mbebe mkisikia mwili wangu umekwajeka sana beba tu mpeleke nyumbani nipumzike na niende vizuri lakini msiutibu na chochote Bwana Yesu asifiwe nilipofikia hapo nikaenda kwa nyumba moja iliyokuwa imeandikwa karatasi hiyo karatasi ilikuwa imeandikwa dawa haiwezi kuponya bila Mungu lakini Mungu anaweza kuponya bila Mungu hiyo karatasi nikaja na yale maandiko nikasoma nikasema nikakuta yale madawa ilikuwa imewekwa kwa nyumba nikachukua yote nikatuka na nikasema kama Mungu anaweza kuponya bila dawa niponye kwa muka asubuhi ndio nilitoka nikaenda paka Maseno Hospital kule Maseno Hospital sikuenda mimi ni mgonjwa nilienda na nikapata mtaada mmoja hapo nikarara nikajiraza pale nikakuta daktari bwana nikamuuliza anaweza ingia kwa hii hospitali akaniambia uko na haja gani nikamwambia nataka nione wagonjwa wa wale wa hapo kaniambia ingia nilipoingia pale nikakuta kitanda nikajiweka pale kama mgonjwa sio mgonjwa nikagojea saa sita saa usiku nikaamka nikawaambia ukisikia mtu ako mgonjwa wewe si mgonjwa lakini uko katikati ya ugonjwa ya mauti na uzima uamuzi ndio umebaki tuamue sisi sote Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Nikaongea nao nikawaambia sasa ni siku za kutoka kaburini nikiwa mmoja nitahubiri asubuhi nikaamka. Kwaamka nikaambiwa jambo hili. Kila ulichotenda 
nawe watendewe mtoka hospitali kiwa mzima mpaka maisha yangu ile ikuwe kwa hivyo na wasio paya lakini mwenye kukupatia Yeah, that testimony. That's why my spirit was connected to him. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, we are not teaching you to stop using medicine. Tumesema hivi. Na nimesikia tukisema mstumie dawa. Biblia inasema <laughs> should I quote? <laughs> This one is very serious. Biblia inasema na nilisoma kwa kitabu cha mtumishi wa Mungu anaitwa We commonly call it Sirach. But Sirach iliandikwa na 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 mtu wa Mungu ambaye ilitunukiwa hekima nyingi. Akasema hivi. Usipuuze madaktari, usidharau nini? Madaktari ukiwa mgonjwa nenda kwa wa kusaidia kwa kutibu maana amewapa Mungu amewapa hiyo akili wa kusaidia Bwana asifiwe But again you must be very careful You must be very very careful There are some hospitals unaenda na urudi nyumbani au unatoka uko na mambo mengine That's why as a child of God you have to be prayerful. And that's what the scripture says. God orders the steps of a righteous man. He orders the steps of a righteous man. So every step you take, he orders. When he decides that you go to hospital, he will direct your steps to which hospital to go. Bwana asifiwe. Amen mchungaji mwingine ambaye tulimpenda sana mtumishi wa Mungu wengine wetu wanamjua brother ameaga ameaga aliaga juzi anaitwa alikuwa anaitwa Tom Matsari some of you know him brother Tom you know him you knew him not really you know him he's, he's late now <laughs> na <clears throat> alikuwa na ugonjwa kwa tumbo lake akawa flown to america he was dying he was flown to america kule ambako madaktari wa kila aina wa kila aina wa wako kwa flown to America America hawakuona ugonjwa wake walishindwa he was flown back to Kenya kama admitted at Gaga Hospital kule Gaga Hospital hawaoni ugonjwa nisikilize vizuri sana hawakuwa naona ugonjwa until this man ni ambaye ametajwa hapa tajwa hapa no no tulimtaja asubuhi na ndugu mwingine alikufa pia amekufa alikuwa alikuwa anaitwa Hakuri Hakuri eh bishop anamjua Hakuri was a very powerful man of god in Kenya very powerful god was using him eh yeah? god was using him might yaza tu kuimba viweze unasimama wanatembea visii wanasikia hipofu anaona that was his ministry yeye yeah, aliimba tu mesimama tu pale anaimba tu Anaimba tu Mungu yu mwema Mungu yu mwema biwete watembea kiaza tu biwete watembea biwete wanasimama wanaanza kutembea <laughs> So this man came to see Tom kwa hospital na akaombea Tom Matari hospital Many of you would, would, would imagine that he got healed instantly because this is a man who commands the left Anatembea. So many of you would imagine that he got healed instantly, but that was not the case. That was not the case. Now, when he prayed for this man, when he pray, prayed for this man, now what did what happened? After the hospital, he ended bana mepona. Sasa madaktari waliona ugonjwa wake. All those years wamechunguza wametumia mbinu zao zote kuchunguza hawakuona ugonjwa But after this man prays now they are able to identify the problem wakaona kidonda kwa intestines 
They operated him. Wakakata that part. Wakaunganisha. Wana daktari wanajia wanaunganisha it is time. Wakaunganisha. What am I trying to tell you? Don't despise doctors who are in the Rao hospital. But again, shetani anaeza kufunga machi wa madaktari wa siyone shikayaku. Na wakutipu for a wrong diagnosis. Na upewe dawa, una typhoon, na wakupatia dawa ya malemi. Shetani amewafunga limi, macho, they give you wrong medicine. That's why we are saying the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. So, we are only teaching you to depend on God entirely. Depend on God. He will save you some pain. What does he do? Amen. There is a very nice lady who you uh, whom I have testified here every time. My idea sana kukua kiro. So, <clears throat> nilikuwa na lima mashamba and accidentally jebe lilinikata. Nilikonga shina la uti. Na jebe likaruka na likanikata hapa. I think ilikata mshipa. So, dami ni magika sana. Magika sana. Nikaanda hospital, nikae kwa dawa, nikafungwa. Nondi mahali malipalitaji kushono. Lakini ujuzi wa kushona siku hizo, <coughs> hau kwa kwa. <coughs> Hanyan madaktari hau kwa nafikiri ya raka kushona. Dile yu nafikiri ya siku hizi ya raka kushona. Mahali kama hau. Walikuwa tuwa naweka dawa wa nafunga. So, mahali, ha, mahali hapu palikataa kushikana. Paka bandi jikatolewa, palikataa kushikana. So, this lady prayed for me. So she was praying for the sick and they got healed. She was also God was using her in signs and wonders. But she prayed for me, but it did not heal. But instead, God gave her word. God is the word of knowledge. And that she told me every morning when you wake up, pray, take your saliva, apply that word. That's what I did. Within one week, the wound was here. Well, as if you were. God can use anything to heal you. He can use the word to heal you. He can use medicine to heal you. He can use even your saliva to heal you. He can use anything. He can use even the man. Jesus used man and saliva. To heal the blood, he can use anything. That's why we say, let us depend on God. He will order our steps. And that will save you from a lot. That's a way to renounce your own kumbira kujua. Renounce your own kumbira kujua. To see a testimony of Brother Edward here. He was innocent. Mtu akiwa mgonjwa unajua wengine wetu hatujawahi umwa. Hujawahi umwa. Mwai kuumwa nyi mwili mwai ku. Mwili ukikuuma vizuri hata mtu akikwambia maavi ya ngombe itakuponya utapona. Utakula hiyo maavi ya ngombe. I'm telling you mwili ukikuuma vizuri hata mtu akikwambia ukikula hii maavi ya ngombe utapona. Utakula upate ukunyaji mwili mkuu bwana asifiwe amen na tena mwili ukuuma uongo unaweza kuponya nasikiaje hiyo hebu nikupatie mfano wa uongo uliponya mtu huyu mtu amekuwa mgonjwa miaka watu wamejaribu waganga wamejaribu Hospitali wameshindwa. Sasa wamerutisha huyu mtu nyumbani augue akufe. Maana wameshindwa. Then a brother rises up and says, "No, my brother can't just die. I tried the best I can. 
So yeye alienda kwa Meko kule nyumbani mnajua hapo hii three stones. Eh? Meko anachukua jibu. Anachuja jibu la mekoni vizuri anachuja alafu analetea ndugu yake. Ndugu yangu jaribu hii dawa. Jaribu hii dawa maybe inaweza kusaidia. That's what he was doing. Ndugu yake analamba hiyo jibu la kuni. Jibu la nini? La kuni. For now for about a month na akapona. Akarudi kwa ndugu yake akasifu ndugu yake sana. Huyu ndugu yake ndiye aliletea dawa ile ili niweze. Hii dawa ilimwonya. Huyu ndugu yake ndiye aliletea. Na ndugu yake akasimama akaambia watu ambao alikuwa anaambia, "Ukweli ni kwamba mimi si kuletea ndugu yangu dawa yoyote." Nilikuwa tu najikua jibu la mikono. Ninachuja vizuri na kuletea ile kumfuatia na hapo. So, the huyo mgonjwa develop to faith in that. <laughs> and that faith heal him. So if somebody can develop faith kwa jibu, why don't we develop that faith in God? So that the faith in God can heal us so many diseases. Is it possible? Yes. It is possible. The man standing before you today is supposed to be dead. I've said here time and again. Supposed to be dead. Because kama ni uchawi nimefanyiwa zaidi ya any of you has been. I'm the only son to my father. Na kufa kwangu ilikuwa faida kwa watu wengi. Hata saa hii when they still try but now they are so discouraged because ni ndume bi Bwana asifiwe they are so disappointed because they try they try huyo anajaribu anajaribu anashindwa mwingine ana take so kama ni uchawi nimefanywa but my faith in God has saved me. I'm still standing before you today because of my faith in whom I'm supposed to be dead according to the devil. Faith in God can rescue you. Wacha na hivi tuvingili. Aniende kukaa mbele ya mtu afanye enchantments and enchantments and enchantments aniambie wewe unaona jirani yako hey hey atakukonganisha na jirani yako buri. Bwana azifiwe. Umeona watu wakigombana wakikosana kwa sababu alienda kwa mgani. Pray, pray to God. Have faith in God. God will set you free. Bwana azifiwe. Sisi tumeomba mpaka Mungu anakuambia vile mtu alienda kwa mchawi akakaa mbele ya mchawi, alafu vile mchawi alimweleza na vile alikuja akafanya Mungu anakueleza the whole story. But we don't go kwa ke urienda kwa mganda eh, eh, No You fight your battle Behind the curtains So na smama behind the curtains You fight those evil spirits You command them in the name of Jesus You destroy all the witchcraft In the name of Jesus And the witchcraft is destroyed Then you emerge Wanata kusema Nasikia kuna mungina alisema Nduwedua da alienda Alienda pepa kutegenezi Ya that's why Kwa na jaribu uchawi ya upeni Kwa na kasema Alienda kipemba kutengenezo Hawatu wa metembea mbali sana Kusikia mchawi ya nasema hivyo Unajua mambo yake ini haribika kibaya sana Kwa na zimiwe That's the power we need We need that power To destroy the power of witchcraft We need that power so that if there is a witch trying to destroy your life, trying to hold your stars, trying to hinder your progress, I will disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is the faith we should have. What does it feel? We are not extremists. My faith is balanced. And I believe so. While I am in closely, you know that my faith is balanced. I call sin what the Bible calls sin. 
Bwana asifiwe. So I want you to be very very strong believers in Christ so that we overcome all these things that are fighting us. Bwana asifiwe. Now you see, I, I was telling you last Sunday, when you hear me stand here, announce a thing, follow it, kill me. You turn up instances, zikitokea, basi zinaitagi, that is your announcement. And it's same a ya warfare, the beginning of the year. Did I talk about warfare? Yes, yeah. So, kama ulinaswa uko, what you need? Warfare prayers. Because kuna demand. Kuna demand kwa mba wei ni wei Wei ni wei Wei ni wei Mesikia mtu Mtu wakisema kwa mba Anaona kifukuzwa kwa ndoto Sidiyo Sidiyo ni demand Kuna spirits na demand Wei ni wei So they are running after So mgu wake ufanya ni Mpoi Hehehe Hei, wana sema mgu uji boy Mgu wake ufanya ni? Boy That's what it is So brothers and sisters You came here To get this knowledge So that you may be saved From what is about to befall you That is the Lord Jesus Christ Speaking to us Wana sifiwe Wana sifiwe In your family, I want to say to you as a family, stand up for Christ and you will save yourself. There is one sin by Mungu alitangaza, itakufuata. Na ifuatu watoto wako, na ifuatu watoto watoto wako, na ifuatu watoto 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 wako na yendele hivyo hada kisazi cha cha tano, cha nne na cha tano. Which sin is that? Only one sin. Alizema itafuatana hivyo. Baga kizazi chatana. Hasira ya mungu itamwagika kwa hicho kizazi. Baga kizazi chatana. Which sin is that? Sin of our fathers. Ten commandments. Ninajua ten commandments. The second commandment. Nazema hii The first commandment Nazema hii ni jori 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 Ndume yangu Full stop I'm the Lord your God You shall not have any other God before me Second commandment You shall not bow or worship it. For I, the Lord, am a jealous God. That one is very long. I reward those who who serve me. But those who rebel against my commandments, what do I do? I visit the iniquity. To their children, to the children of the children, to the fourth and fifth generation. Second commandment, making yourself an king. Anything that takes the place of God in your life, it's an idol. Hiyo ndiyo dhambi mungu alisema. Ata tembea, ata tembea na hasira yake kwa watoto watoto wako. Na watoto watoto wako. Vijuku, vituku, huko. Viremwe, viremwe kese. That's why mamajoru mwono when she was speaking here, alisema, the demon said it is 400 years old. How many generations do you think those are? 
How old is a, how long is a generation? Well, be careful. Na kuko unapewa elimu mahali hapa uwe very careful because unaweza kuwa laana kwa watoto wako. Na uwe laana kwa watoto wa watoto wako. Watoto wao na kutubu in future. Hadi mbaki ba. Dabiza baba yangu. Yesu nisame. Maji mimi to John sasa watoto wa John wao wanatubu mimi. It's a very sad thing. So don't take any this is a sin that God visits kabisa. I want to achieve my name. Inakasirisha Mungu. That's why he says he will not share his glory with any other God. He will not share his glory with any other person. Hata mkachukua mchungaji wenu mkamweka ni kama Mungu. Hiyo inakasirisha Mungu. Na mimi mchungaji nisipojua mbinu ya kuzuia hasira ya Mungu, mtaona imemwagika. Tama timemwagika. Tamwagika kwanza kwangu, alafu mwagike kwa kanisa. Because nimechukua utukufu wa Mungu. So what do I do? When When God starts using me with signs and wonders, mtanifuata sana. Tafuta tu mna amepitia wapi? Lakini sasa kuna mtu ananifuata. Hata wanipigii simu. <laughs> But when the gifts come, eh? I'm prophesying seriously. Now I'm kile kime kivija katikati ya mfupa. Mbi ya le, una hi una hi kwa mfupa ako katikati, eh? Na kuhita mpaka jina na ujawa hi ni tani yambi ya kina lako. Eh, wana tafuta atali kio kwenye chini ya kichana na wata idio. Asa hi oni kubos. Nikisema tu kula samadi unakula. <laughs> That's how prophets can mislead people, right? Kwambia <laughs> wewe, Mungu anasema uende uchukue samadi ule. Mungu alipatia Ezekiel samadi. Iko <laughs> kama andiko. Mungu alikomanda Ezekiel kula samadi. Tumishwa Mungu nilikula. As the as the prophet of the Lord saying, I went and took the the the, the cowda and ate it. And now I feel okay. Sure. Take it when I'm still teaching you now. Because when those gifts come, I'll be swinging in the spirit. <laughs> And I tell you whatever I tell you you'll do. <laughs> Even when I mislead you, you will go the way I tell you. <laughs> But for now, I'm giving you the balanced one. Take it so that it saves you that day when I mislead you. What has it been? He had a joy so many madiko. He didn't say my. Na pia nitokea katikati yenu na atoe ishara na ifanyike. What happens? Mjue Mungu amenena. Right? Lakini akigeuka awaambie na twende njia hii. Na hii. Msifanye ni msimfuate. Maana Mungu anajaribu imani yenu. The same prophet 
can turn out to mislead you. That's according to the, the word of God. One as if you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I didn't plan to say that. <clears throat> but uh, when the anointing, the anointing falls, what do I do? I just release. Release and the, 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 the taps. I open them wide open. Eh? So that you get the water. One as if you. Amen. So God loves you. That's why he's speaking to us. Revealing to us many things. And God has spoken through a brother told me here so mightily about magic. And these things have entangled us without our knowledge. Where we will find them? Bwana Sifu. Amen. Leo ambia siku moja hapa nimeitwa nyumbani na mzazi mama yangu. Ai, mimi kufika pale na kutana na nabii. Mimi nabii kati. Na huko ni nabii. Huko kwa ni nabii. Lakini sasa wazazi wangu walikuwa wanajua tu mimi ni mbaya. I don't accept any any prophet. No, I, it's not that I didn't accept any prophet. But uh, Mungu kuna kitu alinipatia cha kuchuki. So najua wewe nabii wa kweli. Naweza kujua wewe huyu si nabii wa kweli. So niliangalia yule nabii nikamwona hapana, hapana. Hapana, nikasikia nimemrula au hapana. But mama yangu alikuwa ameweka imani kwake, so I kept quiet. Nabii akatokea huko na mshumaa mkubwa. Are you listening to me? Mshumaa mkubwa. Kaweka kwa mani hapo kawekelea sufuria kwa moto mimi namwangalia hapo anaongea tu vitu vyake hapo wakiombaomba vitu vyake hapo then what happened the next si anachemsha sasa mtu mwenye akili timamu si anajua kwamba wax ikiwa exposed kwa moto itamelt <laughs> sasa Asa, 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 Niangalia mtu karibu ni narue ni pande miwili. Eh? Eh sasa huyu jamaa amefungia hivi vitu kwa mshumaa mkubwa hivi. Amoweka kwa maji, imemelt. Wax imemelt. Hii vitu vibaki kwa maji. Sasa nakitanganya amevuta. Nigeuka nikaambia mama huyu mtu anakutanganya. <laughs> Kaanza kulizoni na mama. Mshumaa Tunatumia kufanya hini. Uona. Sindio. Tunawasha. Hey. Alafu nini ufanyika? Kuna tabi katikati. Hii, hii waksi na inayeyuka. Tabi kichomeka. Ambia. Sasa ukiweka mshuma kwa moto. Sita me. Hey. Uyu mtu waliweka mshuma kwa maji. Akaweka maji kwa moto. Kaza kuchemusha. Maji ya metokota. Umesikia kitokota. Na huu mshuma wakua mkubwa. Uli uona. Hey. Unajuaje una kama aliweka hii vitu ndani ya huo mshuma? Hiyo wax akafungia ndani, alafu ameweka kwa maji. Sasa nakutafanya. Wewe unafuata. Naye akasema, "Nani kweli? Mtoto wangu siko na kiria hizo." <laughs> Ndio nakwambia mwili haujawahi kukuuma. Ukikuuma, utafanya kila kitu. If you are not in Christ. Bwana asifiwe. <clears throat> Nilifungua kama maji and from that day that man never visited our home because i exposed him bona sifu be very careful you very yeah are you happy yes yes bona sifu um there's only one minister i want to do nitore ya I want the children. Take our children. I'm sorry that you were given one hand. 
but I still need those who are there. Wale wako hiye waetu. I want the children here. But I don't. One of these sources, we came out. Dogo. Kwa hiyo hiyo, hata hiyo maji umewanja onje. Sumameni hapa mwakari umadu. Sumameni hapa watoto. Watoto wangu, I love you. I love you children. You are nice people. God loves you so much. This is is the ministry I was will use whatever is there. <coughs> oh, thank you. And now anointed. So I want us to pray. Kunam to Zionia. Happy Usually. Mariana, kuna mungine zioni. Mbuni ya mariani, mwana niko wezi, kumutu zioni. Wapi, 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 blesi. Blesi na kwa. Nisikia lasa ime, ime toshe. Hehehe. Bwana sifiwe. Kuna mungine inji? Mwayo wako, mutaka tuwamini mungu. I ask you please to stand up. You want to pray for this wonderful children. Tunataka begu ya mungu ipadwe nani ya hawa watoto. Hawa watoto wapate begu ya mungu ipadwe nani yao. Ikame kazae matuna. So that's it. One day they'll be preaching. Sisi tukiwa wazee, tunasikiliza. Tuwa tunaikete. Wana asifiri. Amen. So, I want you to believe with me. Father in heaven, I bless this water. So I use it as a point of contact unto these children. I pray that Father, your spirit will enter them. And they will grow in the things of God. That the power of God will flow in their lives now and forever. And that Lord Jesus Christ, your anointing will work in them. And that Lord, they'll be filled of the Holy Spirit. And that Lord Jesus Christ, they'll speak in other tongues. I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ, God. Father, touch them now. Touch them with your power. Touch them with your anointing. Lord, sanctify this water. Now, sanctify this water now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that, Father, may your blessings go with them because you are God. We seal them for Christ. We seal them for Christ. The devil will not get access to them. But, Lord Jesus Christ, your power will shield them every day as long as they live. Lord, as long as they live, we pray that the power of God will shield them and the Spirit of God will dwell in them now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I command your, your power to fill them now. I command your power to fill them now. I command your spirit to fill them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, none of them will get lost. None of them will get lost in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, Lord Kabosena, Lord Akasema, Lakosha, I obey your command, Lord Kabo. Yes, Lord Jesus, touch them, touch them, touch them, Lord Kabo, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you praise and glory because you are the King of Kings. I command, Lord, your protection over this child in the mighty name of Jesus. No demon shall get access in his life, but he shall be shielded. He shall be sealed for the glory of God and for the power of the King of Kings. I bless this child in the name of Jesus that the glory of the King of Kings will come upon her now and dwell in her and the Spirit of God will move in her life. And Father, she will live for you. 
You will fill her with your spirit now and forever. She will serve you. Lord Jesus, you will serve the kingdom of God because you are the king of kings. I command, Lord Jesus, your power to come upon this child in the name of Jesus. That your glory will shine in her life. That your power will move in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, touch her now and fill her with the spirit of God because you are the king of kings. Lord, I command your power to come upon this girl. In the mighty name of Jesus. No demon shall get access into her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. No powers of darkness will access her life. But Lord Jesus Christ, your power will dwell in her life, Lord Jesus. Your spirit will fill her now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I command your power to fill this job. In the mighty name of Jesus. We seal her for your power. We seal her for your glory. Because you are the King of Kings. She will serve you. She will be a servant in the house of God. Because you have chosen her. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I seal this girl with the blood of Jesus. With the power of the King of Kings. No demon shall get access to her life. Her stars will shine. And your power will in the life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your glory will shine in our life. Because you are the King of Kings. In the name of Jesus. I see this girl with the blood of Jesus. Lord, I command your power to come upon her. In the name of Jesus. Your glory will shine in our life. And Lord Jesus, your authority will work in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you have chosen her. We seal her with the blood of Jesus. Because you are the King of Kings. Lord Jesus, I seal this girl with the blood of Jesus. I command your power to come upon her life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are the King of Kings. I seal her with the blood of Jesus. Let her be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I command your power. To come upon this girl in the name of Jesus. Let her be filled with the Holy Spirit now and forever. That she'll walk in the path of righteousness. And your glory will shine in her life. She will be a servant unto God. And your power will move in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command your power to come upon this boy now. In the name of Jesus, fill her with the Holy Spirit. Let her serve Christ now and forever. That Lord Jesus will shine. She be an example to others. That Lord Jesus, you are the King of Kings. And Lord of Lords, we see our Lord Jesus. No demon shall find access to his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I see this girl with the blood of Jesus. I command your power to come upon her life now. In the mighty name of Jesus. She'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, she'll be a servant of Jesus Christ in the house of God. She'll walk in the path of righteousness because you're the King of Kings. Lord, I see this girl with the blood of Jesus. Let your power come upon her now. Let her serve you, Lord Jesus. Fill her with the Holy Spirit. Let no demon find access to her life. And Lord Jesus Christ, she'll be a servant in the house of God. We give you praise and glory for all these children and those that are not here. We command your power to come upon them now. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit shine in them. Let your spirit fill them now. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise and glory. We honor you, King of Kings. Father, we thank you for every soul, everybody that is here now, Lord. I pray that your anointing will flow in their lives and your glory will shine in their lives and your authority will move in their lives. Lord Jesus, I command that your power shall come upon us now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every family that is represented here, we pray that your glory will fall in their lives and your authority will move in their lives and your anointing will move in their lives, Lord. Open doors for them, doors of blessings, and we shall give you praise. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. We honor you and we give you praise. Thank you, Father, even as we part. Lord, let your blessings go with us now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore.
Sami Amin, God bless you. 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 God bless you.